Well, each winter, the Holiday Lights Festival dazzles downtown Omaha. It showcases, what, 40 blocks of sparkling lights, something like that? 40 blocks, that's cool. Full of festive, family-friendly activities, the event helps to fight hunger in our communities with the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. It does, and who gets to turn on the lights each year? Welcome back, Mayor Gene Stotter. Thank Good you. you Thank you. Good to see you, too. Uh, you're, I mean, you're a professional at this. You just flipped a switch in Star 104.5 studio. Mm -hmm. I you? did, and I just started the Christmas music for the season, so I've got the touch. And so. they actually had buttons. They've got knobs and they got the switch and they got the whole deal in there. They certainly did, and I'm an expert at it. You have to watch that video. <laughs> well, here's <laughs> this is the beginning of the video. I don't know if we'll actually get to that part, but uh, starting Christmas music, it, does it get you in the holiday spirit? I mean, it, we're, we're still a week before Thanksgiving. Oh, certainly it does. And I, you know, the weather is a little bit warm out there, but I still think with what we're going to do downtown on Thanksgiving evening, it's going to put everybody in the holiday spirit. Yeah. So I like mm -hmm. when Christmas yeah. music starts. I love it. And we'll get to that in just a second, but I got to know what song did you pick to play oh, yeah, first? You get to pick a first it's song, right? beginning to look a, a lot, lot like, like Christmas. Christmas. I have a cold. Of course, Johnny Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect one. Yes. It is beginning to look like Christmas because the Holiday Lights Festival is kicking off. Uh, when does it get started? Thanksgiving night. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, the um, festivities start at 545, but we'll actually flip that switch downtown at the Gene Leahy Mall at 6 p.m. Uh, best viewing is around 14th and Farnham, of course. And there will be hundreds of thousands of lights that will turn on when we flip the switch. They'll be on every day from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. through January 1st. So people need to come down and see it. And this has become a holiday tradition, a Thanksgiving Day tradition uh, for many families families out there and for you yes. as well, hasn't it? Yes, they do. And you know, it's what's great about it is parking, for instance, is free on mm -hmm. holidays, so the parking is free. So a lot of people will come downtown mm -hmm. to see it. Um, the, uh, some of our restaurants and some of our stores in the old market will be open on Thanksgiving night just to give the real holiday spirit. And then, of course, at 7 p.m., you could move over to the Holland mm -hmm. and there is the, the, um, the symphony will be playing at the Holland and uh, it's a Nebraska Wind Symphony, and then there will be a singer there that night too. Mm -hmm. And so, and it's a free concert, and it's it's family friendly, and kids and families and grandmas and grandpas will love it. So that that's Thanksgiving evening too. A whole bunch of fun There's stuff, of stuff. Yes, especially you know to, to close out Thanksgiving. That sounds yeah. like a blast. And I got to ask you this: it's got to feel pretty darn powerful to be the one that flips the switch. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all I tell everybody's the park, watching. They all you. watch, but I just tell the parks director <laughs> they better turn on. When we flip I that know. switch goes. Are they tested? And yeah. they always are. Has it ever, it's, it's always gone off. Right? It's, it's always, always gone off. And you know, we start putting those lights up in the summer. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, they test them and retest them. But right. they always go on. Oh, and they, they <laughs> always add a little bit more. And so they're just going to be as beautiful as they mm -hmm. have always been. Is there anything new this year? I mean, you're always trying to add some new yes. to it. Yes. Well, this year, what's really exciting is the new ice rink. And mm -hmm. you know, our ice rink has always been on the ConAgra campus. Last year, it had a temporary home. But this year, it's it's its new permanent home and it's at the Capitol District. Oh. And of course the new Marriott Hotel has opened up, but behind it there is a brand new permanent natural water ice rink. And it oh, is wow. chilled Great. so on warmer days it will still be uh, frozen. And it will open up this Tuesday and it will actually stay open through um, Valentine's Day on February oh, 14th. Great. Yes. And what's great about this is the emission is $8. That mm -hmm. includes the skates. But it also is in coordination with our Shine the Light on Hunger campaign mm -hmm. to raise 1.4 million meals for the, the food bank. And what, um, what ConAgra has promised to do, as well as Blue Cross Blue Shield this year, is ConAgra will match up to $100,000 for the money that's donated or for part of the money for the rental and admission to the ice rink. And Blue Cross Blue Shield is gonna match 12,500. And so that, that type of um, donations will really help our Shine the Line on Hunger campaign to benefit our food bank. Absolutely, and why do you think that this campaign is so important to our communities? Well, because we do have a lot of people that are in need and the food bank does a great job every year and every year their goal is increased and they try to raise more and more meals and get more and more donations and it's just really um, makes the holiday season I think more meaningful to everybody because mm -hmm. there's all these festivities downtown and the shops are open and the people are down there but it still has a real good 
purpose too, and that's to help our less fortunate in our right. community. You know, ConAgra doesn't have as big a role in our community as they did a couple of years ago, but they've still committed to this, and they're still a part of that. That's saying a lot for them. They are a big part of the community. There's still 1,200 employees down there on that ConAgra campus, and they still mm -hmm. want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. But I hope everybody comes down and looks at that new ice rink. Mike Moylan and, and uh, his development company, Shamrock, has done such a great job in the Capital District. The apartments are filling up. There's still some stores and, and shops and restaurants to open, but that ice rink hopefully will bring everybody downtown. Yeah, and the lighting ceremony, the energy surrounding that. I've, I haven't been down for a couple of years, but there's so much energy around yeah. that. And the families are there. Mm -hmm. It's yes. just a great time. It's just good family-friendly fun. And then yeah. there's, of course, there's the, the Wells Fargo Family Festival. And that mm -hmm. will happen downtown, and that's on Sunday, December 3rd, too. And there's going to be six different areas with activities, family-friendly activities, from Wells Fargo to the Durham to the Children's Museum, um, Dale Clark Library, our Mounted Patrol. There's all activities going on on Sunday the 3rd from noon to 5. And Ali, the trolley is going to be moving around downtown, moving people around mm -hmm. from event to event. So lots of things going on down there to really mm -hmm. kick off the season. And I want to get to this. Who's the special guest vocalist at this year's Making Spirits Bright Holiday Concert? Her name is, uh, um, is Camille. Camille, yeah. yeah. Uh, and she is, uh, she's just a fantastic singer. We've had her and on the show before. Yes, yeah, she's very, now. very v versatile, and so she will be the um, the featured singer mm -hmm. along with the Nebraska Wind Symphony. Okay. So it'll be a really great yeah. Yes. Concert, she's, yes. she's wonderful. All right. And before we let you go, we got to talk about New Year's Eve because there's a big fireworks mm -hmm. celebration. Yes, on New Year's, right? yes, yes. And it will be like it always is on New Year's Eve. It will be at 7 p.m. and there'll be a big fireworks display. We will be down there, and uh, we hope everybody comes down to to start kick off the new year because it is early and it's early so that. Families Families can enjoy right. it too. So many fun things going on down there. And we have new sponsors this year, like Blue Cross Blue Shield is is still a sponsor um, this year. So is ConAgra. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but there's a. It's just going to be a great mm -hmm. event, and lots of people that are going to be down there doing right. a lot of great activities. Well, well we know that you're busy, yeah. So thank yeah, you no, for taking the time. Yes. We should probably go out with it's beginning to, to look, look a lot like Christmas. Christmas. Guests for the morning blend start their day with coffee from Pears.